Are we ready to go? Getting a little bit of tire spin. Slam on. There we go. Oh, definitely, definitely a crash. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. It is Tesla Driver here. Today we're going out early morning to try out the new dash cam in the Model X. Now I know some people in America have had this for probably months now actually and it's not new to them but in the UK this is fairly new you can see that the dash cam is on by this up here we've got a dash cam image with a little red dot on top which means that it's recording but I've never actually accessed any of my footage before so I don't know if the footage is being recorded and it's being looped or if it gets like turned off every 10 minutes or something so I'm quite intrigued to find out what it actually is now if you're wondering where this stores to and where you get your footage from there's a USB in the dash in the center console which is where it stores everything and in there currently I've got a 64 gigabyte uh, flash drive that's on fat 32 you've got to have it on fat 32 format but uh, that should be able to store a lot of footage considering it's probably going to be a low resolution recording I can't imagine it being quite that high res anyway let's keep on going forward and see so I've only got the one camera because hopefully I'm getting the dash cam footage if I'm not something terrible has gone wrong but what I do know is that if you're in any time you need to like capture that footage that you've just recorded all you do is tap that icon and you get a little download icon and it will save the last 10 minutes of footage so I'm assuming it's looping in 10 minutes but I'm not a hundred percent sure just yet okay let's go around this guy and I also believe it's uh, the dash cam's recording on three cameras. So it should be recording off the front narrow camera and then the two rear facing repeaters. I think, at least I think that's where it is. This isn't my car either and it has that heated steering wheel and it's absolutely amazing. Like it's so nice and warm. But the dash cam mode is actually a really good idea. It is kind of a, a bummer that you have to put a USB in and use one of those USB slots. And I'm not gonna lie, it just takes away kind of the clean look of uh, the central bin when there's nothing plugged into the USBs, which I do quite like. But you can get quite small USBs that pretty much you can't even notice. And I'm pretty sure on eBay, I saw some Tesla branded ones where they have like a, a little tip on them that say Tesla. And I think I'd probably end up getting one of those because that would uh, make it a little bit more uniform, which would be quite cool. So we're just going through my main town here. I actually had someone complain that I used autopilot through town and they put it up online in this post. And as you can see, my reply, my reply was maybe a little bit blunt, but I was just annoyed by it and everyone seemed to agree with me, which was quite nice. But yeah, sadly, you're gonna get those kind of people that aren't liking this stuff, even when you're driving nice and safe, 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 safe through town. It's kind of an odd video for me to do, to be honest, because I can't really see, obviously, what the dash cam's picking up, if it's picking anything specific. I mean, I would want, obviously, the dash cam to kind of see everything in front of me, but I'm worried that because it's on a narrow field camera, there's not gonna be that much vision. But I'm not 100% sure. So we're just driving through the center of town now to try and get this bit of footage. I thought it might be a bit more interesting than just like motorway driving with a dash cam on. We've got some bright light here as well. So I wanted to see how, I mean, it is like 6 a.m. or something. I wanted to see how the sunlight affects the dash cam footage and everything. So this is like blinding right now. I can't see much now at all. So this is hopefully showing if the camera picks it up or not. It's actually relatively quiet as well through town, which is quite nice. Let me know down below in the comment section whether you think the dash cam is good enough for what it is and whether you'd like access to all the other cameras. I am kind of intrigued to know why that there's only three cameras that they've like that they picked. And especially considering that they've got the wide angle one at the front, I'm surprised that they didn't pick the wide angle camera len, uh, lens for recording of the dash cam. Because the narrow one obviously is it's just not gonna be quite as good just because it's a narrow field of view. You're not gonna be able to capture as much stuff. And if something happens maybe over here, like you know over there somewhere i don't know if if the camera is going to pick that up 
which would be, it'd be interesting to see how far you know how far away you have to be almost for it to capture the whole road Also, I don't know if it gets any sorts of audio, externally or internally, I'm not 100% sure. And that'd be quite interesting to see as well. Again, I know with the Model 3, it obviously has a camera inside the cabin and a microphone, well, obviously this has a microphone inside the cabin too because you can do voice commands. So it'd be pretty cool actually if it did capture the voice if you wanted it to. And Tesla actually do have a data sharing option that I've seen on it where you can turn off any kind of data sharing specifically from the dash cam. And I think that'd be pretty cool because then it can all be stored internally only. But for you know tests and stuff, I don't know why you wouldn't send the information over to Tesla so that they can see it. Unless, I don't know, unless you have something to hide, I guess. So we're just gonna finish this lap around my town. Oh, I'm trying to do autopilot, but it doesn't want to do it. And again, does autopilot affect the camera at all? Because obviously it's using, it's probably using that same camera now for its Tesla vision. And I'm wondering if that makes any difference to it or not. Man, that sun is bright. Oh, and interestingly, autopilot still says it can go on, even though it was going into that insane sun. So I'm just going to see how autopilot fares with it. Nah, it, it struggled when it when the sun was like right in front of it. It wanted to go off a little bit. Oh, I've got something come up on the dash here. So this isn't my Tesla, obviously, and it says the tire pressure is low. Okay, I need to go sort that out. It might just be because it's really cold this morning. but I've never actually seen that come up before. Now, on my dash, it says this road is a 30. It's not, it's a 50, as you can see on the sign up there. Not sure why this is saying 50, uh, 30. This has always said 50 before. Oh, what a horrible road it is. Now it goes into a 40, and then it goes into a 30 all the way over there. So yeah, don't know why it was saying that. But there we have it. There's a quick drive literally just around my town with the dash cam on so that we can see what the dash cam footage is like. Uh, hopefully that has actually recorded it all and I haven't had to do anything special to save it or anything. I don't think I need to press that button to save the footage. I'm pretty sure that's just like if you want immediately that load of footage saved, you would press it. But otherwise, I'm pretty sure it should do it all by itself. Now we know what the footage is like just driving around, but what if we actually simulate an accident? So I'm gonna go fast on this road. So this is a completely private road. I'm gonna go fast all the way up to the like end bit of this road and then slam on and do an emergency brake. There's no one around me, it's completely safe. And then I'm gonna see if anything happens to this. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna click it and see where it saves from and everything. So are we ready to go? All right, I'm getting a little bit of tire spin, which is lovely. Gonna bring it up to our 30s and slam on. There we go. Oh, definitely, definitely a crash. Whew, save it. I see, I have no idea now what that footage is going to save, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it will have saved it. And yeah, we've got a little 
tick now appear on there. So it's obviously saved that last bit of footage. It's really hard, obviously, to simulate a crash because it's impossible without crashing. So we'll see if that picked it up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about the Tesla Dash Cam. I think it's awesome. And the fact, again, that it came in an update is just a bonus. Until next time, thank you for watching and don't forget, drive safe.